to another edition of Collection Reflection. In one of our earlier editions, we talked about John J. Audubon and his painting of the birds. We covered our, our beautiful 1808 Cardinal that he painted here at the Falls of the Ohio. Well, he made a return visit to Louisville. After leaving Louisville, failing as a merchant in 1810, he moved downriver to Henderson, Kentucky, and nine years later, his business having failed there, I guess we're fortunate he wasn't a good businessman and ended up sticking with painting birds. But he also painted and drew people. And in 1819, in trying to get his finances back together, he spent about a year in Louisville. And during that time, he painted commissions or drew commissions and uh, also gave art lessons. And so in our collection here at the Filson, we have several of his works from this time period and a wonderful little letter written by a girl who was taking art lessons from him. So from his 1819 period, we have Barbara Fontaine Cosby Todd. Uh, and what a combination of famous early Louisville names, Fontaine, Cosby, and then a branch of the Todd family, uh, somehow related to Mary Todd Lincoln, but uh, her, uh, her husband was Robert Todd. So we have uh, Barbara, uh, which is a lovely, this is a charcoal on paper. And so this is an example of Audubon's work as an artist, which in my opinion, he could have been a very good one if he hadn't decided to really pretty much stick to birds and later quadrupeds. And then this is the Reverend Thomas Henderson. And again, from his period of 1819 here in Louisville. And uh, it's a lovely, lovely image too. You can see that he does them in profile as he actually did a number of his birds too. And uh, this is again a charcoal on paper. These are large. These are the large format that he would work in. But he also did small images. And so this is George Washington Love. And so you can see again, it's that typical profile. And these smaller ones often do show the subject sitting in a chair. And then not long before he left Louisville, and we, we assume actually we're, we're attributing this to Audubon. It just looks so much like his work that, uh, and it's from uh, Love who, who did have Louisville connections having originally been in Frankfurt and actually drawn as a little boy some uh, nine years earlier by Samuel Dearburn who was working at Frankfurt. Uh, that the age and everything seems right, and this looks they're very much like an Audubon. Uh, and then just not long before he left Louisville and went to Cincinnati, he, he gets mentioned in a letter by a, a little girl who uh, is writing a friend in Bourbon County, Harriet Corliss, and she is uh, saying she's taking art lessons from Mr. Audubon, and that he's a very good natured and a good teacher. And so this is again, one of the wonderful things about these letters, we're so fortunate that they survived uh, because they tell us you know, what life was like and, and who was doing what, and you can't write the books, you can't write the histories without these kinds of primary sources. So this is just another sample of some of our Audubon materials, uh, birds earlier, and now we're, we're focused on people. So thank you for joining us in this edition of Collection Reflection, and we hope you'll join us for another one.